Hello and welcome back to Stationeers. I'm your host Gromforks and today we will finally be growing some stuff in this little portable hydroponics tray. Yes, uh, as said, okay, liquid canister empty. Why is it empty? Is this? Oh, it's 1.4 megapascal. This has connection. Why are you empty, sunshine? Okay. That is a little bit unexpected. I expected it to be full. All right. Challenge accepted. It should be pressurized. Could it be that it fuels from above? That could be well the case. Okay. We do the following. We take this, we dump it here. Then what do we need to deconstruct? We need this. There we go. Tank. Yeah, possibly I've built it lopsided. Uh, it's entirely possible, so maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's still liquid canister empty. That's interesting, given the fact that these are full and uh, what the pressure in the water pipes, that could be something that we need to maybe check out. Not initial, it's not my opening thought, but okay, let's check it out. What's going on here? Now, let's see, there we go. And what do we have here? So that's network analyzer. That's not going to cut it. I need Atmos analyzer, I guess. Was that tracker? Nope. Atmos analyzer. Good. All right. Let's analyze the water piping. Then. How are we doing here? 1.4 megapascal, 100% water. Okay, fair enough. Why are we then not seeing it inside? I guess that's a real question, isn't it? Okay, we can cancel the pressurization. Let's go quickly check. So, you, 1.4 megapascal. You are liquid canister empty. How is it empty if it's 1.4 megapascal? That I don't get. So if I take it out, oh, now it's no longer empty. Liquid can, so it's just a wrong title. Okay, that I can accept and forgive. Now, that means that you have water, which means if I stick you in, you should be able to do at least something. Okay, fair enough. Now I'm gonna stick you here. I'm gonna move this portable oxygen tank here. And hopefully I'm gonna get some more water eventually as soon as I get the access to ice. But my main concern now is to get some ferns and actually start doing something with them. That's kind of the deal anyway. Let's see, seeds. Do we have anything, any seeds here? Light on. We have decayed food, rice seeds, fern seeds, corn seeds, wheat seeds, potato seeds, tomato seeds. So what I'm actually going to take, I'm going to take tomato seeds. I'm going to take the wheat seeds and I'm going to take the rice seeds because I know that those are not really demanding fern corn corn I know is a little bit more and potato I know is a little bit more pumpkin I'm gonna save for later so let's see if we can actually start growing food inside maybe it would be better that we start during the day but I have a feeling that the day will come soon enough and we will have our chance so might as well you know go all in and Hope for the best. Okay, so first let's take, let's say we do wheat. The wheat has unfavorable lighting. I think that will be resolved quickly. 
then we want to have dry seeds. Thank you. I think I'm going to go with one more wheat. There we go. And then I'm going to go with the tomato. Okay, good. So let's see what do we say here. Tomato, portable hydroponics, portable hydroponics. They are growing. Woohoo! Awesome. And actually, seeds I could be storing here while I have them, which means I should probably start thinking about the microwave and whatnot. I should be okay. The the day is on, so I'm actually gonna turn on so that it gets pressurized a little bit more. The seeds are growing, which is the most important, I think. And uh, let's go outside. So apparently it was nothing wrong with the with the wall. So, all right. Come on, let me out, please. Let me out, please. Yes. I'm actually going to go a little bit of mining, I think. If I can find ices would be nice. And... Uh, yeah, mainly ice here would be the primary goal. Boink. All right, let's check out the status of our battery. We have come back from the mining and we have some things to show for, obviously. So now let's return you here, sunshine. We have full stack of copper. This is lead. I'm going to just unload stuff here. Coal, a little bit more coal, liquid canister is going to get moved, we're going to go here, a little bit of silicone, a little bit of gold, you know, you never know when you're going to need those materials, so I guess it makes sense as any to keep them, and now, since the valve is open, we can do some ice crushing, we turn on the ice crusher, and just shove this in, and it gets processed, should increase a little bit pressure in the pipes as well as in the there we go and another one i think this should uh, keep the pressure sufficient there we go 2.8 megapascals and some of nitrogen gas which is really nice we can go in and check the status of our plants. Okay, you don't need to pressurize. Seriously, I don't know why I bother. Oh, look at those. Look at those. Woohoo! Our plants are growing. Ain't that something? Now, that being said, I will return this back. So it looks kind of nice. And I might as well take a screeny for the episode because after all, we have plants. Woohoo! Abso freaking lootly. Beautiful. Okay, uh, what we can do also, we can start preparing, I'm thinking, the bench. It won't be nice, but we'll place it somewhere ish. I'm actually leaning towards here. And this is what kit locker we need kit ta furniture or something. And what's the pressure? 47 kilopascals, almost perfect. So when the scythe die when the scythe dies down, which will be very soon, we can actually go and finish our you know hydroponic station. I'm thinking that I should have something here in the locker. Air conditioner, generator, scrubber, duct tape. Nope, not here. Maybe in one of the boxes behind. Let's see. Light on. You would know. Not you. This is airlock. Then I maybe here. Yeah, kit tables. Okay, that I'm going to take. You are more canned soup so that i'm gonna take microwave i'm gonna take 
or scanner ground penetrating radar we don't need that yet all right so we can go in and we should be stopping the pressurization process let's cancel the pressurization okay stop temperature is 17 degrees which is nice 48 kilopascals that should be plenty plants are growing that's fantastic so now i'm actually going to go with the table here because right now i don't have too much space so i really need to be economical with this so let's see how do i rotate it something like this at the moment i would like it here ish but uh, i have cupboard over there so i'm actually thinking here not the world's most prettiest girl in the bowl but she'll turn a head or two now what else can we do kitchen table oh we can do all kinds of tables okay tell you what we're gonna keep this here now we're gonna take this we have only five cables i hope that this will be enough one two three four and five beautiful i think we have just enough right then we need to place a microwave on the desk and then i think we need to connect it i just don't recall how was that done oh like this perfect you can close you can turn on except the desk is not on meaning that we yeah now if we turn it on now it would work all right that means that we have already plenty of stuff that we can put and we can actually use you know activation and deactivation whatnot to be able to grow some plants wonderful Shall we move the hydroponics bay a little bit closer to home? Something like, okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't wiggle it. Oops. There we go. Beautiful. I want to make a nice picture of my new hydroponics. Yes. And I don't, I've just noticed I don't even have the light inside. Oh, oh that's just terrible. I should have some light at least. All right, but I'm actually thinking, guys, this is as good a place as any to wrap it up for this episode. You know, as always, like if you like the today's episode, hit subscribe for more episodes, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks, signing off.